We're here in China at the HSBC Championship. This is the 18th green and we're here with the, the agronomist for IMG, uh, Cameron, Cameron Thompson. Cameron, tell us where you're from originally uh, in Australia. Brisbane, Australia. Um, uh, I started at a golf course called Victoria Park, in Ashgrove Golf Club. Very low-end golf courses, but they were very good for my experience. I got to do a lot of uh, things that guys don't do on the on the higher end courses so yeah. it was a very good base for me yeah and, and Cameron how did you finish up coming over here um, or, or coming over to the States rather like you know why why did you do something like that I did 10 years yeah. in Australia sort of working my yeah. way up from you know even just string trimming the right. lake banks up right. to maybe an assistant superintendent All right. All right. and I just felt that there was another level I wanted yeah. to better myself yeah. I wanted to try and go as far as I could in the industry, explore, right, right, and uh, that led me to you, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> and, and for the young guy back in the TAFE now, back in Australia, where you're at right now is a real pinnacle. I mean, this is unbelievable. Maybe not everybody can be Cameron Thompson, you know, but what would you recommend to them, like, to do to advance their career? Because you, you started at Vic Park with Kirk Hurled and uh, you know, yeah. look where you are now. I mean, you know, what, what would you say to those guys in class? Uh, I think the thing is, you never really know where you could end up. And you're sitting in TAFE, mm. you might not know where, where or what you want to do with yourself. Mm. You just keep your head down, you keep studying, you keep asking questions, mm. you keep learning from your superintendent, mm. and things just kind of seem to fall into place, I think, right. a lot of the times. Right. You just right. Right. You just got to keep plugging away and just keep yeah. working hard, keep dedicated, I think. <laughs> and that's the big thing for these guys, is if they want to do something like this. But what, what did the program do for you? Like, I mean, you know, what, what was the impact of that program? You went up in the Ohio State program. Yeah, I think the big thing for me was it, it opened the door, one, to higher level conditions mm. and just how good a golf course can actually be. Mm. Uh, it opened my, my eyes to a higher level of education. Mm definitely a higher level of education yeah. and then the big one was the networking network I made a lot of friends wow. and so yeah. that that's what really opened it up yeah yeah and then it, it spread from there it went from the yeah. Ohio State and then you don't like I mean like I said you don't really know where you're going to end up yeah, yeah. and it just one contact leads to a bigger door and then all those lead to bigger doors and you, yeah. you just never know where and then you up. find yourself here what exactly are you doing now I mean, what's just in a nutshell? Like, what's your job duties? I, I know it's complicated, but yeah. well, I've come I've come from being the superintendent or head agronomist for Tiger Woods mm. at the Tiger Woods mm. Dubai, mm. and then once we finish it up there, mm. I've moved back to China, where I'm based in Suzhou, an hour mm. outside of Shanghai. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I have, and I'm now the director of agronomy for IMG Asia Pacific. So it's yeah. quite a big region. Right. Um, I have 14 different golf courses, high-end golf courses high that end. I consult on mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. travel every week and mm -hmm. write reports and mm -hmm. so. so you're basically the agronomist yeah. for IMG in Asia Pacific and right right and we do a lot of tournaments we do a lot of events it's a lot a lot mm -hmm. of events which is where we're at right, right now right and this is one of the biggest in the world what, what challenges are you facing here this week just you know this week it's mainly about our biggest challenge is managing the rain the rain, yeah, yeah, and the and the organic content that quickly builds up in these environments in the right. weather. Right, it's, it's right. very overcast. It's often overcast, so yeah. it's dealing with that and then trying to envision what's going to happen mm. and planning for it right. and still getting our tournament conditions right. on the four days that we're going to be on TV. Right. And and it's it's all uh, it's all about getting it ready in that sense, kind of. But you've got a good team here, and yeah. you, you've you've been comfortable what the way they've set things up for you. And yeah, yeah, it's yeah. it's it's always difficult, especially yeah. when I come in only yeah. a couple of times a, a, a month or something right. like that. Right. But huh. these guys have learned a lot. They've been doing this right. event now for I think it's five, seven years, mm. something mm. like that. Mm. So they know the process, and it's almost on autopilot here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I mean, you can you can make this happen. And then where do you go from here? Ah, oh, Sunday. I don't get to see the finish of this tournament. Uh, I'm, I'm off to Bali to do another consulting gig at uh, near Wana Bali. It's yeah. a nice golf course down yeah. there. Yeah. And then I go from there to go to Singapore. Singapore. And I'll go and do the Singapore, Singapore Open up Singapore. there. Yeah. And, Just and tell, back to Shanghai. tell the guys a, a little bit too about the reputation of the program because you. Uh, know this program more than probably anybody yeah. because of that. I mean, you know, what's the reputation of the program out there in the world? For the young guy sitting in class, he doesn't know who Michael Keefe is. Well, I'll tell you what, I see that logo pop up everywhere. That you logo. see it everywhere. Really? Everybody knows of the program. Yeah. A lot of the good guys that I go to when I'm not sure of something over here, yeah. 
most of them have been on the program. A lot of like Darren Moore, right. a good friend of mine. Right. Right. Uh, right. Most of them have have right. either been on it, know of it. It's got a big reputation around the world. Chris Gray as well. Yeah, yeah. Chris, the guy who I took over from in this position. Yeah. yeah. He's a very very good superintendent and very good operator. He he was on the program. Well, I think. Yeah. Me, Long time ago. Long time ago, yeah. 20 years ago. Yeah. So, but I think it's important for them to understand that the, it's not just about going on the program, but it's about the reputation of the program when you have done. That sure. You hit it on the head with the networking. Yeah, sure, yeah. sure. And yeah. uh, it will, uh, when people see that on the resume, yeah. it kind of gives you, if you haven't, if you're trying to make that next step, it gives you a little bit of instant credit right away. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Well, Cameron, we really appreciate your time here. This is unbelievable to be standing on the 18th green at HSBC and in yeah. Shanghai, you know. And uh, I want to I want to thank you for representing us well as a program, and I want to wish you the best the rest of the week, you know. Thank so you. you've done a lot for me. All right, so I appreciate it. Good mm, to have you. No problem. Yeah. Thank you very. much.